Yeah, Hi guys, yeah, so so far I've been picking this wood. Um yeah, I'm just trying to help out to my uh, gardener at home because he uses firewood for cooking, so I decided uh, there's some construction work going on here. And uh, due to that, a number of trees have been felled down, as you can see. Uh, so I decided to stop by and just get some wood. This is how much I've got. Yeah, this is how much wood I've got so far. Yeah, so right now I'm going back home after that noble duty. Uh, there is so much traffic here. People were surprised when they see me picking the firewood. I was like, yeah, I, I, me too, I can do it. Me too, I can do it. This is free firewood. It's not like we are fading down. It's not like I'm the one who is fading the trees down, no. The, it's the government, the city assembly. They have decided to construct a building here. So because of that, I took the opportunity to... Um, to pick some of the wood because I knew that I've got somebody at home who would benefit from this wood and why not just help them the city of Lilongwe at no of time so congested so congested you can see people are riding their bikes others are riding their bicycles others are on cars and here this that's where the construction work will be happening of course, uh, I recommend that if you ever you are picking up firewood, don't fell trees, but get dead wood, dead wood, the branches uh, and the dead wood, not live, live, live trees. I'm totally, totally against the cutting down of live trees. Of course, here, it's because of this construction work happening uh, right there. They are make, constructing a judicial building, as you can see, the judiciary a proposed site. Each and every time we are facing challenges of uh, Euninas, we are facing challenges of Euninos, we are facing challenges with the cyclones. Yeah. We are facing challenges of uh, soil, massive, massive, massive soil erosions and flooding, some of which really could be avoided if we could save our um, trees. If you fell a tree, you replace a tree. How about that? You fell a tree, you replace a tree. You burn charcoal, you depress some trees. Okay? But we're not doing that. In the villages, people are, are, are felling down trees, they are making charcoal, and it, for us staying in the urban areas, we are the ones who are providing that market, even though most of the households have got electricity supply. But in fact, electricity is very cheap. Very cheap as compared to to the charcoal and we're just felling down these trees for nothing really we are destroying the environment we are destroying the the country we are destroying the catchment area of the rivers that's why we are constantly having this flooding of our rivers our river banks are being flooded out yeah and eroded and the water even that you can see in the rivers these days are so dirty water uh, just because we've got no trees to filter out 
I took my time also there. People were just looking at me from the windows of their cars. I think they didn't believe that somebody dressed as I am. <laughs> because I'm not even in a wrap, in a wrapper, in a shitenge. I'm just in my office where, of course, I removed my jacket because I didn't want it to get dirty. But I'm in my, <laughs> my skirt, my office skirt. I'm in my, um, you see, my, uh, this uh, top and uh, I removed my jacket just to go there and uh, do the, um, the the work to do the work as I'm helping out my gardener uh, because he uses uh, firewood to light up his his fire at home he doesn't have electricity at home so at least I've saved him a week's um, at least I've saved him a week's uh, cost of firewood because really, the amount of money that we give these guys is not that much. Life is hard, yeah? Life is hard, we do accept that. And uh, for us also, life is hard. But for them, if it's this hard for us, how much more for them? So we don't give them much and um, they have to take out of the same money that we give them for um, paying rentals. They have to take some to feed their families, their wife, their babies. They have to take out some... Um, to buy water because they have to buy water as well and um, they have to take up some for fuel uh, you know for lighting up in the house um, the fire for cooking sometimes when people look at us they think that we can't do some sort of work just because we were working in the offices we are sitting down uh, the whole day the entire day we are there on desk on computers they think that this other field work we can't do it but we've grown up really doing it when we were in the villages we used to go out pick firewood we used to go out draw water from the boreholes from the wells we used to do all that we used to go out um and taking the to the cattle for grazing okay we used to do all that we used to go to the field with a hole and just reminding myself and uh, looking at how far uh, the Lord has brought me from because really God is a God of wonders you, you can't tell the future of a person looking at someone else you can't really tell that's why it's important to treat each other respectively even if it's a child even if the child is a beggar if, if, even if he is an orphan even if the child looks shabby but respect everyone treat everyone well because you don't know the kind of destiny that the person has the kind of destiny that the lord has for that person because it is the lord who directs our paths we may make our plans but the lord directs our paths the lord takes us to our destiny so sometimes we may make our own plans or you may uh, make plan for a child or an orphan child you may plan for your dependent but finally it is the lord's doing that will create the destiny of that particular child you may mistreat somebody you are staying with in your household you can't write somebody out off yeah? you can't write them off every person have got a chance in this world and if you could see people the way their lives have been transformed yeah? it is those kids who had it all hard growing up those ones they are the ones who you see make, having a breakthrough just look at the bible the, st the story of Jephthah hmm? Jephthah the judge Jephthah so Jephthah as he was growing up he was born of a concubine i'm just saying this from my head because i haven't read it recently but he was a child of a concubine and he was chased away from his place of habitation um, as a child but when he grew up uh, israel find themselves at war with some other um, rival tribes and um, they discussed that who can we who can help us and they later on agreed that it was Jephthah the child they had put away the child of the concubine that's the one they had to call out for and he's the one really who fought on behalf of the Israelites and the, the battle was won the battle was won 
because of Je Jephthah, the one who was put away, the one who was disregarded, the one who wasn't given an opportunity, the one who was mistreated, he's the one who saved Israel. So what I'm saying is you cannot write somebody off. You can't write somebody off. So we have to really consider it and give everybody a chance. If you are keeping orphans, treat them well. If you are keeping dependents, treat them well. If you are keeping your husband's children from another marriage or from um, a broken relationship, keep them well. If you are keeping um, your wife's children uh, from a broken relationship, treat them well guys because you can't write somebody down or maybe giving your children favors when they are the ones who uh, change your diapers when you grow up and you have no strength you don't know maybe your children will not do as well in life maybe your children will be thugs the ones that you are favoring could be that they will not do well in life and it will be that person whom you are disregarding, that person whom you are ill-treating, who will do well in life. So, because of that, be considerate of these guys. Treat all those children in your house equally. Don't mistreat some because they are not your biological kids. Okay? Don't do that. But treat everyone equally. God is good. Those kids, it is not by choice that they don't have their parents. It is not by cho their own choice that they do not have a mom or a dad. It is not by their own choice that they are not being raised by their, in their own uh, households. In the fact that God has chosen you to ra raise those kids, he is going to give you a grace to raise them and he will give you the resources. There is no need for you to, to treat them. Love them. If you are keeping somebody, you are keeping a, 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 a dependent in your household. Love that dependent. Love that dependent. Yeah. So this is the message that I had for you from this. Okay. Muzatenga kwa nkuja kaya. Yeah. Hale ndo wakabita. Uh -huh. Haba ndi mungu tenga po soti so kuisa nchilo baka, baka libanova. Uh -huh. Eh, mwazifu. Ndi mungu tenga kwa ngono. Kuma nzo saume. Uh -huh. Nzo funga kumika. Kuma mbwa zige bunu bunu kucha. Eh. So I'm here now. I'm handing over the firewood. Uh, this is it. It's late. As, you, as there was so much traffic on the road, I wasn't able to... I wasn't able to come here in good time. But... Uh, yeah, and to drop some of this firewood uh, for him. Yeah, thank you so much, friends. Um.